Hello, everybody. So yesterday was National Scrapbooking Day. So I was working on a mini album tutorial. And this, um, I got the tutorial from Carolina Crafts. She has some amazing mini albums. And so I was looking at a video and I wanted to learn how to make it. So this is what I've done. So this is my first one and I like it. And I think it just looks so cute. Um, but I do think next time I make one, I'm going to use some hot glue. Because I'm, I feel like I'm having to keep um, making sure that everything is glued down. But it could be the adhesive that I use. And it's a little bit rainy and humid here. So that could be part of my issues. But this is what I got so far. So this is a six and a half by... Let me get my um thing. Okay, so it's six and a half by about four and seven eighths. Okay, and what I use, I use some chipboard that I got from Michaels, and I then decorated it with um, some powder pink um, cardstock, and then this is Poppy Parade for the spine, and then I use a doodle bug collection, Lots of Love, um, for the papers. And so this is just how I decorated the front. And I'm so proud of this. So there's a technique that you see a lot of times. And you usually see it on pattern paper. And I want to say that it's called like a gate. I'm not sure. But you see a lot of times with maybe like a, a alcohol pattern. And then, um, and then it has gold touches that intersect um, the, um, the pattern. So I wanted to try to recreate that. And so this is what I did. And I'm super happy that I was able to do this. And then, so it's not decorated. So it's not complete. So this is just the, 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 album, the album itself. And so you have this page here. I'm going to put um, a waterfall album in here. I haven't really decided yet what I'm going to do with this page. But uh, I wanted to show you guys just the base album because you can, it, this was really easy to put together and then you can go back and decorate it um, when you're ready. So you could just have some albums ready. So like, let me see, like Father's Day is the next holiday coming up. So if you wanted to get one ready for Father's Day and, and then you could decorate it once you've um, taken your pictures and things like that. So but um, but I'm definitely going to put like a waterfall album here. I am think I may do a flip flap here, but I'm not sure. And then here, I didn't center my pocket right, but it's okay. It's for myself. If I was selling this, then I'll be upset that I did that. But you can put some knickknacks here. And from the Lots of Love collection, I do have some 3 by 4 cards that I'm going to be using. And then I use that same uh, gate technique with gold foiling on this side. And this is really easy to put together. And that is the album, guys. So I just wanted to come on here and just show you what I've been working on. Because it's been a little bit since I've done um, a video. And so I'm trying to get back into doing some crafting videos. Well, actually, I've done some. I just have to do the um um the voiceover but i wanted to get something out to you guys so you know i'm not just sitting around peddling my my thumbs so i have that and while i have you here i'm going to show you guys some things that i've purchased so so scrapbook.com was celebrating national scrapbooking um all week long and on uh, i think it was tuesday they had a special for their alphabet letters where you was able to get three sets and you get the lowercase and the uppercase for 49 dollars 
So I picked that up. And you get it in Uptown. Hope you guys can see like the, the lighting in here is just so terrible. And then it's raining outside. Okay, so hopefully that help a little bit. Then typewriter and festive. And they had um some other ones, but those ones wasn't on sale. So these were the ones that were specifically on sale. Because I would have gotten them if they were. I also picked up um the mini slimline dies from Waffle Flower. And I think this is on a magnet. I think this is on a magnet already, so I like that. This was a freebie, um, and this is a Celebrate die from Spellbinders. And this was another freebie, is the scrapbook.com adhesive runner. Then I got the scrapbook.com slimline dies. I have never made a slimline, guys. I've made many slimlines, but I've never made a, a actual slimline slimline. So I bought some dies for that. And then I also picked up the Slim Scattered Hearts die. And then this is um, nested A2 rectangle. So this should get 12 pieces. Now, initially, when I first was picking these up, I was like, why would I get this? Because you could just cut your own layers. But you know what? I do realize the simplicity and the accuracy of just using dies. So, that's why I got them. Then I got some more hot foiling stuff. So, this is Scattered Hearts background from Spellbinders and hot foiling. as a hot foil plate. Um, this is the diamond floral frame. And you get two dies. And then you get all of this for hot foiling. And then you also get the dies to cut them out. And this is a Yana. I don't know how to pronounce some cooler. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. But she's over. She's from the Ukraine. So she has been affected by everything that's going on with the war in Ukraine right now. Um, so it was great to be able to pick this up and support her. And then I got... The um, Peony Print Hot Foil Plate from Pink Fresh Studio. I don't think I ordered two, so I don't know if I they accidentally put in two, or I have to go back and look at my thing, because I don't remember ordering two. But I did get the Coordinating Peony Print Stencils. So then once you do your hot foiling, you can stencil over that detail with your stencils. Um, I got the diagonal stripes um, foiling plate. And this is from Pink Fresh Studio. And then I got the A2 layer foiling plate from Waffle Flower. And I think this is once again on a magnetic sheet. And then I got some stencils. And this is the Echo Park Hello Valentine. Oh, this is the whole collection. Um, let me see what this one is actually called. Um, heart bouquet stencil. And then I have lots of love stencil. And then from Lawn Fawn, I got their rainy sky stencil. And this one I picked up ooh, in another order. And this is the waffle flower solid hot foil plate. And I am loving this. So, that is all I have for you guys today. So, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you like these types of videos. So, I will know what kind of content to bring out. And don't forget to leave a comment and let me know how you're feeling. So, thank you so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.